and it's uh, i think it's a very sobering thought that all these uh, guys who you know want to go and die for um, another uh, country mm. uh, today just this afternoon there mm. was a major earthquake and uh, nepal. massive massive I, th I think you're right really in nepal massive. Yeah. yes and it's yes. it's very uncanny that you uh, had the film at <laughs> you know but it's yeah, really I massive know. i'm mm -hmm. told that uh, we still haven't gotten a, an idea of uh, oh the uh, mm -hmm. extent of the devastation Oh uh, yeah, but uh, that's yeah. uncanny. Yeah, very. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those of you who followed Facebook and uh, I mean saw the posting, uh, there are a couple of interviews of Kesang on the online. You could possibly go and l hear him out. One of them was at NYU, the other was one at Yale, and very articulate. Uh, gives you a very good insight into as to what was happening in his mind while he was doing this film. You know. Uh, well, Kesang, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he started in Darjeeling at uh, there's a famous school, Graham's Home. Um, there's a very famous school in that. That's where he started. In fact, his first film was based out of that school, uh, We Home Chaps, which we've screened before over here. And this is uh, mm, he's done other documentaries. He did a, v a very big feature called Mukando, The Mask, which was in collaboration with NHK Japan. And this is another of his documentary, which is very well known, which was done like three years ago. Uh, he's done a lot of television work. You know, he's based out of, um, he lives partly in Kathmandu and partly in the West. Yeah. I mean, he started at Amherst and then he went to Columbia. So, of course, he's got a, he's had a very, uh, you know, uh, affluent education behind him. Yeah. My response to, to the gentleman, uh -huh. like he says uh, the British are still in India. Yeah. My question, like, why shouldn't be they? Because Indians are you know, everywhere. <laughs> they too are in. <laughs> well, depends how you look at it. Um, obviously, now it's a global world, and everybody is everywhere. But uh, I, I think it depends how. I mean, uh, how would you like the British presence to be in India? I think that's yeah, the question. It's, it's a dr <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. A, a, at least in yeah in Nepal, definitely. You know, I mean, their presence is quite uh, c quite dominant over there right now. Yeah. At least w when it comes to uh, the fact that they're still recruiting for me, uh, it says a lot that their presence is is felt. You know, and it's very prestigious for uh, for for a lot of Nepali p uh, young people to be part of this army. It is. Uh, it's a lot to do with economics. It's not, I mean, uh, earlier it used to be a situation where, okay, poor education, nothing, we need a job, so you join the, uh, the, on the army. It's no longer that, you know. In fact, uh, Kisang mentioned that uh, in his, one of his interviews that he met somebody in Amsterdam who didn't get through, who was there in this film. And he met him later in Amsterdam, and, and in Am so he asked him, so what are you doing here? He said, I'm, I'm pursuing medicine. So... <laughs> Yeah, so so it's not a situation where you know uh, mm, mm, that these students, uh, that these p uh, people who are applying are illiterate. They, they're pretty well educated at the same time. Yeah. <laughs>